So we have some news about Aralus Chapman's role and what his role will be when he comes back, and he will be back very soon. It is something that I feel it's shocking. Listen, it makes sense when Aaron Boone explains it. It makes 100% sense. Like, I get what he means. But at the same time, I can't live with it. I just can't. So let me share that with you. But before we get into that, if you love Yankee content, subscribe. We're on the road to 4,000. Let's get it. All right. So listen, guys. Aralus Chapman, when he comes back, will still be the Yankee closer. Now you're saying, Joe, are you out of your mind? Are the Yankees out of their minds? Are you are you crazy? Are they crazy? Are you kidding me? Uh, uh, listen, I said the same thing. I thought it was nuts. I was like, whoa. Are all the Chapman Yankee closer still? Well, not quite. Clay Holmes, Aaron Boone is going to use Clay Holmes in high leverage situations. Now, for example, if the heart of the order could come up, the three, four, five come up in the eighth inning. He's not going to use Chap. He's going to use Clay Holmes. And all right, makes sense. But then what happens in that situation, in my opinion, what happens, all right, you use Holmes, then you bring in Chap to close the game. What if it's 4-3? to three? It's 4-3 game, and Chap blows it. You already used your better option. So what you did, Clay Holmes, who was the better option, already pitched. You can't dip back to him, or you can't have him pitch the ninth because Aaron Chapman pitched the ninth. Holmes already pitched. And before Chapman got hurt, Chapman was horrible, as we all know. Almost had a 10 ERA in his last seven appearances, the five and the third innings. He had a, almost a 10 ERA. He was bad. He wasn't very good. And you're going to put him back in that same situation. Listen, maybe, just maybe, if the one, two, three, or the three, four, five come up in the ninth, then they'll go with Holmes. But what happens if the one, two, three are up? You're going Holmes in the eighth? And then you're pulling in Chapman in the ninth still against the four, five, six? It, it doesn't add up to me. It doesn't make any sense. I know Chapman, when he's on... Chapman was phenomenal. He was great. A great closer. But he hasn't been on. He was pitching really bad. I hope he comes back and hope he pitches well. But when he was there, when he was the Yankee closer, he wasn't very good. Clay Holmes, 30 straight scoreless innings. 30 scoreless innings. And you're going to tell me that he's going to set up Chapman. I'm curious to see how this works. I'm curious to see if this happens. Listen, when we had a guy named Mariano Rivera, Mariano pitched just because he was so good, just because he was so good, you want to put him in the eighth inning because the three, four, five were coming up. You would set him up unless this was the postseason. Different story. But during a regular season game, you're not going to do that. You would have brought in a Mike Stanton or Jeff Nelson. That's what you would have done. Or 09 David Robertson. Just because you had Mariano doesn't mean you're going to go to him in the 7th, 8th inning right away. You would set him up. That's what Clay Holmes needs. I think this Yankee bullpen is dazzling. It's working. And then you're adding Earl's Chapman. But since he had the title of Yankee closer, you expect him to do that again? This is the final year of his contract. He doesn't have to close anything. He could be a middle of relief guy, and that's his story. But you're still going to try and trust him in the ninth. He's going to have some situations in the ninth. Probably, if the heart of the order is due up in the ninth inning, you haven't used Holmes yet for whatever reason, you'll go with Holmes. But 
everybody says something about that ninth inning is different. That's why Mariano was so good. That's why some guys could set up, but they can't close. The ninth inning was it, it's just it's it's different. We need a guy who could close in the ninth. And Chapman, I don't I don't think he could do it anymore. I I, I just don't. He's just he's he, he's looked bad. Listen, if he comes back strong. Awesome, because it's another piece in our bullpen. A dominant piece at that. But Clay Holmes has shown you nothing but dominance. He's been dominant. That sinker is disgusting. And you're telling me that he won't be the closer anymore. It's, it's just stupid. It's really dumb. It's really dumb. I don't agree with it. You want to be cute with it? You want to tell me high leverage spots? Fantastic. But what happens? It's four to three. You already used Holmes. Now you got Chap in the ninth. You trust him? Let me know what you guys think down in the comments, guys. Hit that like button. And subscribe if you love the Yankees and you want more Yankee content. You want to listen to a lot of Italian guys screaming to a microphone. You'll then subscribe for more on the road to 4,000. Right, everyone, thank you all for watching. This is Joan. Until next time, signing out.